Okay, this is just a quick video. As you can see, over the last few weeks, a couple of months, I've been uh, looking at the Zolkine again, the, the Mayan calendar, the Zolkine, looking at it in various different ways, the keys, etc. Watch these videos if you wish. But because I have been uh, looking at the Zolkine, I've had a few suggested related videos uh, come up on YouTube's kind of home page. And um, particularly this one. This video is from Carl Callerman, PhD, who wrote a, a number of books on the Mayan calendar, and he said that the end date wasn't the 21st of December 2012, it was actually the 28th of October 2011, and he gave all sorts of evidence for this and reasons for this, and uh, I actually read that book, found it quite interesting. Um, I think with any theory regarding um, an ancient artifact such, such as the Mayan calendar, uh, there's very little concrete evidence as to, as to what uh, was really suggested. Um, it's, it's quite speculative and um, all the rest of it, you know, it's theories are theories and we can never really truly understand what the Mayan people uh, used their calendar for. But aside from all that, uh, Carl Kalman's back on the scene with this with this video from late last year, December 2016, and in this video he says something that I found uh, quite interesting in, in a certain respect. So I'll just play that clip. On the level of the sixth wave, um, uh, we, we are actually now going into a, a dark age. And, uh, and, and you see it in, in many different ways uh, in, in, in world politics and you, you see it how there, there's, I would say there's a lot of misuse of, of the digital revolution that, that has happened re recently. People start to trust uh, uh, new sources that are sometimes completely fake and uh, uh, there's a tremendous amount of conspiracy theory out there and uh, uh, um, there is a sort of a somewhat of a breakdown on the on the intelligence of, of the mind that, that is typical of the of the days in this particular uh, wave. So that's really interesting to me that uh, Kalaman should use this this phrase here, uh, which we've seen a lot, particularly in the mainstream news, uh, completely fake. The, the previous uh, sentence that he uses is people start to trust a lot of uh, news sources. Let's just see if I can find it again here. Uh, he says, just, just looking at the uh, subtitles here, people start to trust news sources that are sometimes, uh, and the key word here is uh, completely fake. Now we've seen this a lot from the mainstream media. Uh, people in the mainstream media, n mainstream news media bodies such as uh, CNN and, and all the rest of them, calling particular uh, websites fake, fake news. People like James Corbett and, uh, and Infowars, although to a certain extent I would say Infowars is quite fake, but uh, it's, just, it's just quite interesting that what the inverse of what what is being suggested here is that websites and people like James Corbett and you know the alternative media is completely fake and that only mainstream news sources are credible now that's really interesting when you consider that back in 2011 the daily telegraph uh, <laughs> i don't know what Kalman thinks about this whether he's seen this but the Daily Telegraph did an article, the end of the world is nigh or is it? Now it's Carl Johan Kalman's turn to claim that the end of the world is nigh. Written by this this woman, Bryony Gordon, just a couple of days before Kalman's end date. And uh, she says in this article, all things going to plan tomorrow, uh, sorry, all things going to plan tomorrow will be the end of the world. As the plan was set out by some loony tune, who lives in a Swedish backwater. But just in case Carl jo Johan Kalerman has somehow alighted on the truth, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so here in this article, in a 
what Carl Callerman may suggest to be a real news source and not fake, uh, he is actually misquoted with his theory. Tomorrow will be the end of the world. And it's actually not tomorrow. It was the, the end date that Callerman set out was the 28th of October, not the 27th, which would be tomorrow according to this date. Uh, so she gets his theory wrong. He didn't actually say it would be the end of the world. He said it would be the end of the calendar. So she's wrong on two counts. The date that Callerman suggested and the fact that he didn't say the end of the world. He said it was the end of the calendar. And uh, she also insults him by calling him some loony tune <coughs> who lives in a Swedish backwater. So she actually insults him, himself, and his place of origin. This woman, Bryony Gordon, who considers herself a journalist. I wonder if she still does. But what I would like to know then is what news sources Callerman considers to be trustworthy because as we see here from this article the Telegraph isn't or at least one of the journalists at the Telegraph isn't uh, trustworthy so uh, what, what news, does he, uh, news sources does he consider to be fake and which ones aren't fake and which conspiracy theories does he consider to be uh, not credible and which ones are credible is it the ones you see in the Telegraph and other related mainstream media news sources and I would also argue that it was the alternative media places like Red Ice Radio back in the day and other alternative media sources that actually promoted his theory I mean this uh, real news source doesn't at all it insults him, it gets his theory completely wrong, he didn't say it was the end of the world, uh, and this new source insults him, and his place of birth. So I just wonder what Carl Callerman thinks about that, and whether or not he considers real news to be trustworthy, and which alternative news sources he considers to be fake. <laughs>